You have got to stop doing this on your Facebook page. It is killing it. It is destroying and hurting your page. So let's talk about it. Hi, my name is Nick Batatabas. And today's episode of Home Care Digital, we're talking about four things to stop doing so that you can attract more caregivers leveraging Facebook. Number one is stop posting, we're hiring, we're hiring, we're hiring, we're hiring. The way that Facebook works is that it's only going to your people that are following your page. And so at some point, someone followed your page that probably knows you. It's unlikely that some random caregiver found your page, followed your page, and they're like, oh, we're hiring. The only chance that they maybe did do that is that they saw an, an Indeed ad and then they went to your Facebook page and then they saw and they started following you. And so saying you're hiring, of course you're hiring, everyone's hiring. And this just kills your Facebook page because it's just sale, 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 sale. It's usually just like a graphic with the stock image and people know, they see it, it looks like an ad, they just scroll past it. And when people do that, it tells the algorithm, this isn't good content, this isn't good content. So stop posting, we're hiring posts on your social media. And we'll get into later on in this video what you should post so that you can drive greater results. But first we're starting with what not to post. So the second thing is don't post job ads. So I get the incentive, maybe these people like Indeed or my CNA jobs are like, hey, make sure to share the job post on social media. Stop doing that. What you're doing basically every time that you do this is that if somebody that does see that post clicks that link and then applies, you then have to pay for that applicant that you just got from something that came from your social media. And so if you are like, because I have seen that sometimes people like to market and target specific shifts that they're trying to get, like, hey, we're looking for a 24 seven shift or we're looking for a live in on Saturdays and Sundays or whatever it may be. And so that's why I think people tend to want to share their Indeed ads because it's like usually a very specific shift. But if you're going to do that, create an individual post with that specific shift. And then what I would recommend is actually sharing it into a community group that has caregivers versus necessarily sharing it on your personal page. You may even go as far as making a video about the shift or certain shifts that you have available and posting that in the group. But I don't recommend doing this on your business page and you definitely don't wanna be sharing these job ads. That is a just waste of money. You're helping these job ads and it's not not helping you because you could have gotten that applicant without it. Plus, Facebook hates links. So they don't wanna take people off the platform. So anytime you share a link, if you are doing this, this is just like a general thing about Facebook that you basically never want to share a link. Blog articles, ever posting your website. Sometimes I see uh, companies that are posting just like their website after every single post. Oh my gosh, please stop doing that. Facebook hates links. They make money by keeping people on the platform so they're not showing your content if you are in fact posting links. Number three, stop sharing stock photos. Again, it goes to what I touched on with just feeling salesy. It just feels like an ad whenever someone sees a stock photo. So post real photos of you out in the community, you at events. This is an element that's going to attract caregivers. So you're doing an appreciation event. Boom, post that. That's gonna be really powerful. Just showcasing real people. You don't need to put your logo on it. You don't need to do any of that. That actually sometimes can hurt your profile because you're like, oh, let me put branding on it. Let me use Canva, which I do love Canva. Don't get me wrong. But like when we put the logo on it, then it comes off as more businessy, salesy when the platform is still designed to be more of this social network. So post the photos as raw as they are. You're going to see a better engagement and better reach. So think about things that you're doing, caregiver training, caregiver appreciation, showcase and share that content. It's gonna be so much more impactful than these stock photos. And number four is don't neglect your social media. I get it, I understand. Sometimes people just wanna outsource that. They're like, Nick, I don't wanna do this. Can you do this? And the answer is no, I don't offer that service. And I don't recommend going with a company that does because you just get this bland stock stuff. And yes, is it better to have something than nothing? Yes, but if you're already doing these things in your market, if you're already doing appreciation, if you're already doing caregiver training, if you're already going out marketing, just post photos of that stuff and then post the social. Even if you're only posting once a week, that's gonna be better than those three terrible stock posts that are going out 
every single week. One personalized good photo is gonna be so much better than those three stock photos. So you can make time for this. You're already doing the stuff, just document and post. It's gonna be so much more impactful. You will see immediate results from this. And you're thinking, hey, caregivers don't even look at their social media. That's not true. They absolutely do. For example, one of my clients, Jerry, she sent me this beautiful video message, which is a really cool strategy that you can do out in your marketing, just sending video messages. Um, that's what I teach. So she sent me a video message and told me, she's like, hey, we just had a caregiver inter interview and you know what she said? She looked on her Facebook page and she liked what I had been posting. I'm the only one in the community making videos. And so your caregivers are looking at your social media. Is your social media an asset or is it blah? Would you actually direct and say, hey, like, do you want to learn more about our company? Go to our social media. Like, is it an actual good representation of you and your company culture? So stop doing these four things, start getting more personalized, showcasing real things behind the scenes, real people, and you will immediately see an increase in engagement and greater results for your social media. Do you want to attract more clients, more caregivers, and referral sources using the power of video? Well, I am so excited that I just created a brand new free mini course that's going to go over how you can leverage video. And guess what? It only takes two hours a month to create amazing video assets that you can use and leverage again and again. To learn more, go to homecarebrandmastery.com.